<laughs> guys, I cannot tell you guys how proud I am of everybody on the ship today. You got it. Everybody did really well. Everybody held their weight. Everybody participated and, and, and made this hunt very special. So, huge shout out to everybody. Okay, real quick, guys, we're going to go ahead and, and do the final count. We got some friends over here. What's your names, guys? Carlos. Carlos Pablo, right? Where are you guys from? Salvador. Ah, oh, Salvador. Oh, okay. Honduras? Honduras and Salvador. Those are some of the, the most fantastic iguana hunting countries. Over there is tradition. So since we got a lot of meat, guys, we're going to count everything out, and we're going to see if we can give our new friends some of this freshly harvested iguana meat. But the real question is, how many did we get on today's show? Any any suggestions? So we got one here. Like I think about we got about eight. Yeah, I say about like 10. 10, 10, 10, 10 11. 10. Ask him how much he thinks we got. Quanto? Quanto do you think? Una. Una. So he thinks about 10. He thinks about 10. Tell him, tell him if he gets it right, then he'll get it. If you get the number right, correcto, you take all. No. <laughs> no, no. Tell me guess what. Tell me guess what. He says 10, he says 12. So if they get either 10 or 12 or even 11 in between, They'll win, they'll win themselves a fresh iguana. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start counting it out. You can throw them right on the thing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, they got it. They got it. Wow, that's insane, y'all. There's some really nice ones. Now, since we got the, the count correct, now we're going to see who caught the biggest one. All right, let's see if we can distinguish which one. I think this is your one, Ninja, right? That's the one with the pink. pink. Oh, yeah. This is yours? Okay. I think I caught this. I think so. This might be the pink one. No, this is the pink one right here, dude. Oh, that's, that's your one. Yeah, this is your one, dude. That's your one. Okay. So here, so you hold that. That one, that orange He's already one, dead. Mines, and then I think this I caught a dark one. So this one got to be it. Because I feel like you, you caught the biggest one. Yeah, this is it because it was shedding. Oh, oh, he was shedding? Yeah, so that that's yours. Okay. I remember I caught two. So I think it's that one. That one and either this one or this one. Okay. Actually, no, no, no. It's, it's this one. Okay, right? okay. So you got that one. Right and you got this one right here, dude. Wait, no, wait. Ninja, this is your one. This is the tail. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's him. And this is the pink one. This is the red one that you got right here, dude. Oh. Remember, that's the last one you got right there. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. So you got those two right there. All right, sweet. So, hey, real quick, hold up, real quick. Let me see this one. Okay. That one's pretty big. This one. Oh, he just, he just gave you one more. <laughs> That's payback for shooting him. This one right here looks pretty big. That's your one. He's longer, too. Okay, now. Yeah, my two contenders. Okay. Okay. And where's your one at? All right, we'll put this guy right here. Line them tails up. Oh my goodness. Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on, wait, 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 what? Oh, he's got the rest of the tail. He's got the rest of the tail. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, I'm looking at him right now. And definitely the longest one is our, our friend Eric's one right here, man. Yeah. It's the big bull right here that you got, man. So congrats, dude. Congrats, man. Yeah. Congrats, you won. You... <laughs> He's got the biggest one. All right, so that's it, y'all. We got about 10 of them. Huge shout out to Eric. He got the biggest one. And huge shout out to everybody that participated. We're going to go ahead and sort everything out, y'all. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Huge shout out to Nature Frontier Dave coming out. CJ, the Iguana Ninja. Dave, the Iguana Sniper. And Eric, the Iguana Assassin, yo. Get in the biggest one right there. <laughs> All right, man. Hey, you deserve that picture, bro. Picture's worth a thousand words, man. You definitely taught that thing super fat list. your experience, bro? It was super comfortable. One, and it was lit. The boy wasn't walking, none of that. So it was perfect. How do you, I mean, would you recommend this type of uh, hunt to anybody? Definitely. Yeah, 10 out of 10. What was your favorite part? What was your favorite part about being on the boat? Um, Just spotting them. You doing everything at one time. You doing surveillance. You doing the hunting. You doing the... The recovery. Everything. Yeah, <laughs> at one go. So it's really efficient. It's very efficient. Well, 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 guys. You guys seen it right there. We definitely got on. Huge shout out to our friends. I mean, they came out here, y'all. We worked. It was a whole team effort. Everything was perfect. But it's all about sharing and giving back. Our boys are from South America. They absolutely love iguanas. So we're going to see if we can offer them a little fresh iguana meat. You know, just so they can go home and pick something up. These are for y'all. Okay. Put them right here? Yeah. 
Gracias. Hey, we have a YouTube channel as well. Follow on YouTube, Iguana Man. You gotta hit the subscribe button. You gotta put the bell on. Yeah, buddy. That's me, bud. See, I'm right there. Go so watch, watch, watch videos. We have a lot of videos on there. Okay, boys, you boys enjoy, okay? Wow, 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 wow. Y'all seen that? The aftermath was insane. We had a bunch of people in here. The other day, y'all, this is the day after, and we slayed a bunch of giant iguanas. But the aftermath of it, not so pretty, if you know what I'm saying, man. We got blood, we got poop, we got sweat, dirt, there's flies. I'm so happy, though, because check this out, yo. I just teamed up with this company called Better Boat Products, okay? Check it out. That's them right there. And they just sent me a little boat cleaning kit. I told them what I do and they said, hey, I think we got the perfect thing for you, man. So they sent me this boat hose nozzle right here. Let's take a look at this right quick. Ooh. Oh. Nice. Really? Wonderful. Nice. I like the color of that. It's like kind of like seafoam. I think it's sexy. Cool. So they sent me that and... They sent me this boat soap concentrate. Oh snap. Which I'm gonna be using to be cleaning the boat. And it's eco-friendly. Eco. So it's not gonna harm any of the surrounding environment. No animals, no plants. Let's see, all-purpose soap removes dirt, grime from everything and anything above and below the deck. Powerful formula, rinses quickly without any hard scrubbing. And it takes off anything without leaving no residue. 100% biodegradable eco-friendly see this is the type of stuff really? that i like yo not only is it going to hopefully get the job done but it's not going to contaminate the existing ecosystem oh yeah you guys know here at iguana man we're all about preserving florida's natural wildlife and ecosystem and what a better way to do that than using eco-friendly soap so huge shout out to them for sending me that also we have a boat wax applicator set 3, polishes sponges microfiber cloths i don't Ooh. think i want to put blood on this yet but we do have boat metal polish. Ooh. Now we're getting a little fancy here, y'all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> boat polish. So before we polish and we buff out all this stuff, we are going to need to clean all this blood. Now the question is, is this stuff going to be able to take some of this? Look at this right here. This thick, fibrous, gelatinous, coagulated iguana blood. Let's go ahead and start cleaning the boat. Application. It's got the universal the universal thread to thread onto a hose, okay? Mm, twist, 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 yep, twist. Get it on there nice. Twist, 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 now twist. it's time to turn on the hose and give it a nice pre-soak. Oh yeah. The hose is on, it's been activated. Let's start soaking up some of this blood. Nice. Look at that. So since some of this blood has been caked and baked on, we want to try to loosen it up. It's just like doing dishes. You get dry old food on there, you're not going to have a good time. You got to pre-soak it. We took, the butt, we took the butt plug out, so everything is going to just drain out through the back. So let's give her a nice soaking and then we will start the scrubbing process. Got this little bucket. Now let's add the boat soap concentrate. Ooh, Ooh it smells good. Ooh, there we go. It's a concentrate, it should be nice and thick. Let's see how it tackles some of this iguana blood. Okay, we've got a little rag, kind of down up in there. We're gonna let that kind of soak in a little bit because this stuff is caked on. It smells good. Oh yeah. My favorite thing about it is, you know, it's eco-friendly guys. And to me, that shows a lot of character about a product, okay? You guys heard about what's going on over there in the, in the Tampa Bay area with the red tide. They're dropping fertilizer, they're dropping this carcinogens into the water and it's killing all the fish 
those people don't care about the environment. And then I go ahead and I get in touch with this company that I guess being eco-friendly is important to them. It's all caked on, it's my fault. I should have cleaned, see if I would have cleaned it from the start, we wouldn't have to be playing scrub-a-dub-a-dub -a -dub right now. But Rubber ducky. We let it soak in. Get all that eco-friendly soap underneath on top. I just want to just kind of just work that blood out. There's different soaps for different things. You wouldn't use dish soap on your laundry. It doesn't make sense. And you definitely would not use dish soap or laundry soap on your boat. That's why they make boat soap. Like I said, shout out to our friends over here at Better Boat for supplying us with an eco-friendly boat cleaning option. If you guys want, you guys can go ahead and check them out. We're gonna put their links in the description down below if you guys wanna go ahead and get it. They have fantastic products. And as you guys can see, it is definitely, look at this. Look at that blood, just coming right off coming right off it's just caked on guys caked on but it is coming out look at that stay tuned for the final result we're gonna let all this soak in it is stuck on there but so far I'm pretty impressed with the product look at all that yeah I really like this nozzle too it's nice Pretty, I like the color of it. Good work. Oh yeah. Nice and clean. No more iguana blood. Nice, clean, fantastic. So thank you to my friends at Better Boats. Like I said, we're gonna put the links to all their products in the description down below. Make sure and check them out. And uh happy hunting, y'all safe hunting. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one.